Hello there students. This is Muhammad Lawardi, a teacher of English at Al Majd High School, Directorate of Inzgan Ajmudu. Today we are going to have a lesson of vocabulary for common core students. Okay, let's start with this riddle. Please look at the riddle, read it, and try to find out the answer. What starts with T, ends with T, and has T in it? Let me give you a hint. This is something we find in the kitchen, especially the Moroccan kitchens. It is associated with the Moroccan culture. Yes, have you found the answer? Okay, so look at the picture. Yes, this is the answer. Uh, what is it called in English? It is, yes, it is a teapot. Very good. As you see, it starts with T, the first letter, and it ends with T, and it has T in it. it normally, the, the, the teapot contains T. We use T inside, we have, it has T inside. And also the word teapot, it starts with the word T. Great. Now, let's get started. So here are the objectives of our lesson. Please look at the items on the picture and try to guess the topic of our lesson today. Look at these items. What do they all have in common? Yes, exactly. They all they are all related to environment. Exactly. Environment and ecology. And this is going to be our lesson today. So let's start with a definition of environment. So environment is the natural setting in which we live. It means the context where we live and all the surroundings that we live with, especially plants, air, uh, animals, etc. And ecology refers to the study of the relationship between the organisms and their environment. Means the ecology, it's the science that studies the relationship between these organisms, these living things, especially, as I said, like plants, animals, humans, bacteria, etc., air, etc. Well, now let's study some vocabulary that is related to these, uh, this topic. Go back to the picture again and try to name some of these items. Which ones do you know? Yes, the first one, as you see here, is Earth, our planet. Good. Then, yes, you have water. As you see there, that's a tap water. Also, we call it fresh water, the one that we drink. Okay. Another item? Yes, there are animals, especially when you have an insect, it is a, a butterfly. But animals also are related to the topic of environment in the ecology. Exactly, we have uh, an example here of an animal. This is, do you know the name of this animal? It is panda. Yes. What do you know about it? Yes, the only small number of pandas exist. 
So it is, it is an example of endangered species or endangered animals. Endangered animals are the ones whose number is small. We have few uh, of them in the world, so we need to protect them. Okay, like tigers, elephants, etc. Good. Another item from the picture that is related to environment and ecology is plants. As you see there, there is a hand, a man, or a hand of a human holding a plant. Plants are trees, flowers, etc. Good. There is also a symbol of recycling. Recycling means treating things that we already used and use them again. Okay, especially what do we recycle or what we should recycle is waste and rubbish. As you see in the picture there, that's rubbish. And also we call it garbage. So garbage, rubbish or waste means the same thing. Okay, uh, normally we should use or recycle the, this garbage and use it again to protect the environment. Well, let's continue. Yes, another symbol on the picture is the electricity. You see the symbol of electricity? Yes, electricity also called energy or power. Okay. How do we make power normally or energy? Most of, of the one that we are using now it is made by fossil fuels, means coal or petrol, and also gas. We use them to make energy and electricity. But these fossil fuels, like petrol, coal, and gas, they pollute the air. They are uh, harming the environment and as you see also factories look at the picture this is a factory factory okay it's polluting the air it, the factory gives off the smoke in the air which is bad for the environment and normally why does it give off this this smoke it is because the machines are run by either petrol, coal, or, or gas. Okay, so that's why they give up smoke. Uh, also, another thing that, that, that that's pollutes the environment are the means of transportation, like cars, buses, lorries. Also, because they use fossil fuels, they pollute the, the environment. Okay, and yes, pollution is the one of the most serious problems that our planet suffers from and it is due to the smoke and fumes that are uh, emitted in the in the air by transportation machines factories etc look at the picture here our earth is suffering because of this pollution I think you you know one of the most dangerous phenomena that we have that pollution caused it is global warming yes global warming it is the fact that our earth has become very hot because of this pollution it goes up to the atmosphere and it blocks the sun rays inside the earth so the temperature increases a lot and this global warming has got other effects on our earth especially climate change and it has other consequences like drought means there is no rain for a long period of time in some countries but in other countries they may have floods a lot of rain in a short period of time 
that causes a lot of deaths and a lot of damages. The solution to solve this problem of global warming is through shifting or going toward renewable energies means we need to use clean sources of energy not fossil fuels but other in so sources that protect the environment like solar energy or wind energy as you see in the picture you have next to the bicycle you have a wind turbine that we use to generate electricity from wind and also in this picture you see solar panel that we use also to generate uh, electricity from from sun rays excellent Now let's talk about some environmental problems that our planet suffer f suffers from. Yes, the first one, look at the picture here. As you see, these are factories and cars polluting the air. Look at the example. Factories and cars give up smoke in the air and pollute the environment yes so this is which issue is this yeah it is pollution so pollution is one of the most dangerous problems that our planet suffers from it causes a lot of serious problems to the environment so it needs an immediate action to solve it out and to find solutions and other alternatives to stop polluting the environment. Another issue is as a result of the previous one, which is as a result of pollution, it is global warming. Global warming is making the world hotter which means that as i mentioned earlier the world has become very hot because of the air pollution so global warming consequently affects or causes other dangerous problems in the world especially climate change and the ozone uh, a hole in the ozone layer and the rise in the sea level extinction of some endangered animals endangered endangered animals etc another dangerous issue is this look at the picture Yes, that is. Can you guess what is it? Yes, that's waste. Very good. Garbage. Rubbish. Good. So some people, look at the example, some people throw garbage on the street. So normally should not throw away rubbish in the streets, should put it in the waste bin or waste baskets great all right so uh, another serious issue that they let's say threatens our environment is this one can you describe the picture what do you see here yes these are well, this is a forest with no trees because normally humans have cut all of them so cutting down the trees in the forest 
is called deforestation. So cutting down the trees is a serious problem that our environment suffers from because trees are very important for the environment because they give a lot of oxygen and they absorb the carbon dioxide that is emitted by factories, transportations, etc. Interesting. Since pollution is the source of all the problems our environment suffers from, we're going to study it in details in the coming slides. So we're going to see some types of pollution, the causes of pollution, and some effects of, of pollution. Well, there are several types of pollution. In this lesson, we're going to see just four most the four most important ones. I'd like you please to look at these pictures and try to guess which type of pollution is it. For example, look at the first picture on the left. As you see there, we have some factories they give up smoke in the air. So which type of pollution is that? Yes, that's air pollution. Very good. Yes, they pollute the smoke with the emissions of, of the factories and cars, transportation in the air cause air pollution. The second picture, the, as, as you see, you guess what pollution is that? What type of pollution is that? Yes, that's water pollution. Exactly. Well, uh, water pollution is uh, dumping waste water or dirty water in the rivers or seas. The third picture. And you look at it. Yes, that's a waste bin surrounded by some garbage, waste. Yes, that's soil or land pollution. Actually, it's land pollution. Soil pollution because it affects the soil. Okay. So, because these are two different things, land pollution and soil pollution. They are related but different. So, uh, yes, the, the next one, look at it, yes, it has to do with the sound, it is noise pollution. Yes, it is the uh, sound made or the noise made by vehicles, by cars, planes, machines, etc. Is sound pollution or noise pollution. Okay, so these types of Pollution are caused by several factors. So these are some of these causes. So look at the first one, look at the first picture. Can you guess what is that? Yes, that's a yes, that's garbage. Good. The second one it is transportation. So we cause air pollution. The third one that's sewage or Dirty water, also we call it waste water, it causes water pollution. The next picture is again a factory. Factories also they cause pollution because they emit smoke and fumes in the air. Another factor that also pollutes the air is 
fires fires uh, also they the, like the one we saw in Australia a few uh, weeks ago yes and the most uh, dangerous thing is okay fossil fuels. so these types mm -hmm. of pollution mm -hmm. are, are caused as by as a server of energies uh, so, so these are some actually of these causes. The so look at the first one. Look at the first picture. Can you guess what is that? Yes, that's a. Yes, that's garbage. Okay. The second one is transportation. So it cause air pollution. The third one that's sewage or dirty water. Also we call it waste water causes water pollution the next picture is again a factory factories also they cause pollution because they emit smoke and fumes in the air another factor that also pollutes the air is fires fires uh, also they the, like the one we saw in Australia a few uh, weeks ago yes and the most uh, dangerous thing is the fossil fuels because the, all the world uses fossil fuels as a source of energy uh, so it actually harms the environment a lot Well, pollution has got many consequences. The first consequence is it affects our health and causes breathing problems for people. And asthma is an example of the disease uh, pollution causes. It is also responsible for acid rain. Acid rain refers to the rain mixed with acids of toxic gases this may uh, cause uh, very dangerous problems for people because the food that we eat that comes from agriculture can be or can carry these toxics or these poisonous chemicals another effect of, of pollution is that it caused a hole in the ozone layer and this hole in the ozone layer led to a the phenomena of global warming which we uh, defined earlier as the increase of the earth's temperature global warming has got many other consequences as the first one is climate change that causes drought, floods, etc. When there is drought, no rain for a long period of time, the lands change or turn into deserts. And the animals and that live in these areas, they are affected also. And uh, it also causes the, the uh, it causes also the, the, the deforestation because the forests die because of, of, of the hot weather in addition to the, uh, the you can say the responsibility of humans in cutting the trees and turning them into uh, deserts yes so this leads to another consequence which is um, endangered animals means a lot of uh, types of, of animals and species are endangered and they are at risk of extinction because the weather has changed and they cannot adapt to these changes if we take an example of the polar bear that lives in the northern and southern poles 
because they need to live in, in ice and especially very cold conditions but because of global warming the ice has started to, to melt and the, the, the water started to, to, to be warm or warmer so the polar bear cannot live in these circumstances so that's why we, a lot of polar bears die and also many other types of, of, of animals die because of these uh, consequences of, of, of pollution now how can we solve these problems and how can we save our environment and solve the problem of global warming so these are some of these solutions The first is recycling. So recycling means to change garbage and rubbish and turn them into new products. Second is shifting toward green energies or renewable energies, especially wind and solar energy. We can also use electric vehicles instead of using the vehicles that function with fossil fuels. Yes, planting more trees and creating green spaces is a very good solution for or to solve the problem of pollution. Another thing is that we can we need or we must save water and do not waste it. It is a very important thing, especially these days we are suffering from a shortage of water. Another solution is that we should not hunt or kill endangered animals. So stop hunting endangered animals. Now, let's do some exercises for practice. Please do the homework and visit this website for further practice. That's all for today. Thank you very much for your attention and see you on the next lesson. Bye.